Good morning. Um, before I start, I just want to give you a little bit of a background on this message. Uh, my father passed away, um, I think, three weeks ago. A friend of mine asked me to uh, do a service at the cemetery for a friend of his. It just so happened that uh, my father had passed away that Friday night. I had to prepare a message on Saturday night for the for that service. And I sat down on Saturday night and the Holy Spirit decided to join me because I'm not a real good writer. So where this message came from, I'm not sure, other than Holy Spirit. Um, the other thing is, is my, I have a sibling that asked, that said to me that, how do you believe in God when he does horrible things like this or allows horrible things like this to happen? So God, cre God created men with free will. Free will is both a blessing and a curse. Evil is in the world to do bad things, and people have free will. That's what separates us from every other species on earth. With free will, good can be done, evil can be done. They both coexist. Let's go back to Adam and Eve. The consequences of Adam and Eve and their choice to trust the devil and disobey God led to the death and suffering for man. It is for this reason God sent Jesus, his only son, to be with us in this world to fight and die against evil, and learn how we live to, and be familiar with the things that we go through. We all have a choice to make. We can do good or we can do evil with that free will. God never said life would be easy. God never said bad things wouldn't happen to good people and evil would not roam the earth. What God did say is in these hard times, he will not abandon us, he will walk with us, and he will give us strength and blessings as he sees fit. He did say he wants us to lean on him in these times. Although death seems like an end and a horrible thing, and my father's was horrible, I spent two weeks on a couch next to him, taking care of him, waking up in the middle of the night, talking, quality time, praying, um, just spending time that uh, was a blessing for both of us. Although death seems like a the end and a horrible thing, it's also a time for blessings, a time for new beginnings for the deceased and the ones left behind. My father passed away recently, and this experience led me to this message. What I learned, there are blessings even in death. The thing is you have to be open to finding the good and the bad. My dad had a horrible death from cancer, but God let me know he was with me, and I believe the Holy Spirit showed up to help me write this message. Some of the blessings I received during that time were I spent one-on-one -on -one time with my dad every, almost every night in a different way than we had done before. I administered my dad his last rites, preparing him for his journey to be with Jesus, and that was an honor not too many people get to do. I grew closer to my mom. We went through this together for two weeks, as hard as it was. I was praying my dad would make it to six o'clock on Sunday night. Then I saw the pain and I told him he didn't have to stay if he didn't want. But God gave him energy. God allowed my son and I to enjoy 35 laps of Darlington, a glass of wine, and fun conversations about racing for the last time. I never prayed with my dad before, but we did starting a few weeks ago. And I pushed the issue a little bit more in November when he's when he got diagnosed with the cancer. We were all with him when he passed away. Then at the end of the day, my new God was also teaching and preparing me for some mission he's gonna have for me later. I lived at home in my parents' house, in my house that I grew up in for three weeks. I grew up in my, I stayed in my old bedroom. I made best friends with a dog. I I went for walks, bike rides, bring back memories, and running into old friends. The point I want to stress here to everyone is God is always with us, even when we don't think so. Do me a favor, the next time you go through a bad time or things seem hopeless, make an effort to look for the blessings in, those, in it. Those blessings will make that time not so bad. And afterwards realize that these little blessings, that's your one-on-one -on -one time with God one-on-one -on -one time with God.
that's that's amazing. That was the biggest thing I took out of this is the one-on-one -on -one time with God. These little blessings are your one-on-one -on -one time with God. How amazing. These blessings assure us He's always there. If you doubt or you ever, because we rely on our relationship with God on faith, if you ever have that little doubt in the back of your mind, which I have, um, I'm not afraid to admit that, but now, after these blessings and at this time, there's no doubt in my mind that he has time to take one-on-one -on -one time with me and bless me when I needed it and to be with me and know that I'm special in his eyes to the point where he felt the need to be with me for two weeks.